having an amazing day. Today I'm going to decorate for Christmas, but first I just wanted to show you how many Christmas decorations we have as an aspiring minimalist family. This is all our Christmas decor besides the decorations that go on the tree. Before I started decluttering, I had probably four or five boxes of Christmas decor, and I have been able to whittle it down to these two boxes. I still like to decorate, and I have little kids. They love decorating. Therefore, I still have Christmas decorations because they are important to me, but I don't feel like I need to have a ton of them to have that Christmas spirit in our home. Shopped for Christmas items in probably over three years, but this year I did get a few items. I got a new Christmas tree. The reasoning is before we had a really old hand me down tree with built in lights, and finally the lights went out in that tree and it was really tiny. We've moved into a larger house, and it just seemed crazy to have a really tiny tree with broken down lights that was over 20 years old. So I did purchase a new tree, but this tree I decided to get with no built-in lights and that is because I don't want them to go out again. So I just purchased separate lights so that way if for some reason the lights go out, I can replace those without having to replace the whole entire tree. So hopefully this tree will last even longer. My last tree lasted about 20 years, 15 to 20 years. It was a hand-me-down. So this tree will hopefully last just as long or even longer. And the last thing I purchased was a big thing of ribbon. And that is because this tree is a lot larger and I don't want to buy a whole bunch of ornaments. I just want to fill in the empty spots with a lot of ribbon. And then hopefully the ornaments that we already have can fill the tree. And this is a great way to decorate your tree without having to store a whole bunch of stuff because look at how small this is and this goes a long way to fill in your tree and make it look festive. is go through my Christmas decorations that I don't end up using and see if there's anything I can declutter or donate. And I usually try to do that before Christmas rather than after Christmas. Because my thinking is if someone were to go to look for Christmas decor, they'd be going before Christmas happens, not after. So I like to do that and usually there's always a few items that I don't use and I think, well, why would I keep them if I'm not using them? My son is obsessed with nutcrackers. We're actually gonna go see the Nutcracker Ballet soon. The boys will be so excited. I store all their Christmas books in here and then we read these as Christmas is coming. This is all our Christmas decor besides the decorations that go on the tree. Last year I made these little Christmas bags out of some Christmas material that I actually had on hand. Um, and it was so simple just to sew a simple bag and then all I did was turn it over and put a string through it. And this is how I like to wrap our gifts. It cuts down on the amount of stuff I have to buy, stuff I have to store, and just junk that goes into the landfill. So I try my best to always wrap my gifts in these reusable bags or Christmas bags that I already have that we can reuse year after year. but I'm a creative person and I actually really love decorating. So for me, this is a creative outlet and that's another reason why I like to have Christmas decorations because it's something that I truly enjoy.
Christmas wrapping. And I have larger bags, small bags, and of course, if you're gonna give something to somebody that you aren't gonna get the bag back, then you might wanna use some kind of recyclable paper or something like that. But for us, this works perfectly, and most of the time, people will give the bags back to me, uh, especially my family. They just know that you unwrap it, and then I just take the bag back, um, and it works really well. So this holds all of my Christmas wrapping, and look how small this is. I'm walking around feeling free thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now this is an embroidery that my mother-in-law had done a long time ago and she handed it down to us since now we are the Torrens family don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so it's true I'm so glad go get Calvin but we are gonna continue with the boys here decorating the tree and setting everything up as an aspiring minimalist I don't want to be storing a ton of decor so I really like to use natural things like pine branches and poinsettias things that eventually we can put in the yard or if once they die down we just get rid of them I don't have to store them in our garage all year long get to use my elf and Santa cup again. Here is a sock snowman and sock snow woman that my mom and I made a long time ago before I had kids and I just love this. This one is meant to be Grant and this one is me and then I just have our little Swedish Tom Tar I think is how you say it and this is the only decor we have in the kitchen. Most of our ornaments are homemade and I love that because it just brings up so many great memories. Most of our decor and these ornaments have been handed down so they all have a special meaning and I had them on our Christmas tree when I was growing up so I really like that to carry on the Christmas spirit and just have those memories when you see these ornaments each year. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight Sometimes when kids help, you get three on one branch, but that's okay, huh? Can we put another one on that same branch? Wow, four? Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. <laughs> At the end of the parade, Santa Claus came to town. The Christmas season had begun. Santa Claus came to Christmas. It's festive yet not over the top. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join our channel and you can click right here to see how we decluttered everything in our lives a few years back. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye!